Hello, and today I'm going to do a review of a of a Dell <coughs> Latitude D610. First of all, a rel relatively good keyboard, and the the Dell BIOS is easy to use, at least easy enough for most people. But there is a problem on the track point. It's just, um, wait, let me focus it. It's just a little, um, too stubby, short, or short. Anyways, I really like that. And also, I really like how, um, Dell actually, even though it's not, even though it's solely designed for Windows XP, I actually dual booted. Anyways, here's the... Right. And also, um, just, just note, um, for some reason the battery is not performing normally. It lost, um, basically when you decay, I mean, um, basically, how, how can I say? Um, it loses its charge, so once, like, it charges it up to 100%, and then it, like, goes to 60%, and then it goes like to forty percent, and then to twenty percent, and fifteen percent, without all, without, just like that. So at least it holds about for thirty minutes. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, even though I'm not going to show you how to um, do a dual boot, I'm going to show you um, how to, uh, I mean, not going to show you how to do it, but um, I'm going to tell you how to do it. So first, because you do, if you want Windows 2000 and Windows XP to um, boot correctly, first of all, install Windows 2000. Oh. Oh, and then install Windows XP on the same partition and make sure it's NTFS. Please note it will say that's not recommended. Just don't follow that and you should be fine pretty much. I'm having lots of fun actually using it on one partition. Don't have to use um, an external USB drive. Anyways, um... And, and the Dell Quick Setup application is relatively easy to use, if I can actually um, find it. Just please note that this is not the original OEM um, version of Windows. That this was actually actually installed by me because um they um if you follow my other video which I will probably leave in my card of the overview and also I really like um how they actually um you know did like a laptop right here for, and also you have the speaker goes right there I just find that really neat And also, I did try to install all the drivers I could. Of course, some had an MS-DOS boot disk, which I don't have, even though I do have a Windows 98 gateway computer. Um, leave a comment if you actually want me to do an overview and or a review. Anyways, if you're just wondering, um, most of the processors come with a Centrino, but for some reason, um, this BIOS is, have it, is actually having trouble detecting that it's actually um, a Penny Mobile, so yeah, I'm stuck on that. You see, let me show you about the battery. Um, wait, let me just do a hotkey. I also really like the F1 hotkey. Oh, I was actually wrong. It was um, 74%, and then it discharges really fast. 
anyways. Anyways, um, now time for the 2000 part of things. Hold on. At least I'm gonna have to restart the computer. And also, um, I would also like to point out that this does have, um, uh, what do you call this? Um, you can see the LED dis the LED light display even if the screen is closed. Anyways, it's taking a long time to reboot. Um... Looks like I'm gonna have to have to force shut it down. Hmm, never had that issue. Oh, finally it's shutting down. Okay, and uh, and also I'm also um, I th really think that I that. Um, the sideways video bug is actually caused um, by iOS 11 on the iPhone. Another reason why I think iPhones are overrated. <sighs> Anyways. Oh yeah, by the way, um... You may, I, when that Wi-Fi logo glows on bright green, I really enjoy it. It just looks so nice. Yeah, there it is right now. And for some reason, I cannot actually get Bluetooth working, but I don't really care. I only use Bluetooth on my cell phone because um, I use Dexcom. And I've been... And also, I'm hoping to, like, reinstall the browser because I'm, I'm trying to get Windows Update working. And once I update, um, everything, then I'm probably going to uninstall and reinstall it because, um, this is the only, because I'm Internet Explorer actually is, um, at least this version was, um, custom made from I O from AOL. And I prefer the Windows, um, the Windows and, the Windows and Globe loading screen instead of the I I O A O L logo flashing. Looks like I'm gonna So actually um all these um programs I have installed um those two thousand actually browse the internet pretty well. And please note that um, I do actually have the the unofficial service pack five because I cannot find the service pack four, and also um I really need some help with registering because I'm keep on failing. Anyways, I'm probably going to transfer this off of a USB because on um, this computer um doesn't really support um, SD cards anyways I'm gonna have to have um, I'm gonna have to wrap it up really quick anyways I'm gonna shut it down by the way this does have um hibernate support anyways while that's shutting down wait okay um I really like the design, and I like and I like the how the speaker grills are laid out. Pretty nice. Wait, just trying to do it with one hand. Anyways, um, 
I even though I do wish that the hard drive is a little bit um harder to access because um so that um the caddy can be easier to find. And I you know so um, I really like how this battery I'm um, actually have an LED indicator. And the latch is pretty good. And also here's the custom docking station. And here's the parallel serial. And also um, a little bit more modern Dell proprietary charging port. Headphone and also um, I have no idea what that is. And that's microphone. And compact disk drive. Alright, and...